There are a variety of calculations that we are going to look at involving the equilibrium expression K. Well, that's remember that's K equals products over reactants. So the easiest thing to do is just solve for K when we're given either equilibrium concentrations or pressures. And in our current textbook, the 12th edition of chemistry, the central science, we can refer to these examples. And I have written a problem where we're just going to look at the Haber process, the production of ammonia from hydrogen and nitrogen, and plug in values for K. A little more difficult problem would be to solve for an unknown concentration or pressure. But we can take one problem and once we know it's the correct answer, then we can rearrange that equation and solve for any of the other unknowns. So that's probably what we'll do. So for example, if we're solving for K, I have written this problem here. And I'll find the equilibrium expression, which means we have to know all of these concentrations or pressures. For this example, using this process, again, all of these are in the gas phase. This is a homogeneous mixture. So that means that all three of those species are going to show up in the equilibrium expression. So if we write the expression for that, while I'm turning my own assignment, uh, we would write K equals Again, we have, well, since we're given pressures, we could write it as the pressure squared of NH3 divided by the pressure cubed of hydrogen and the product of the other reactant, nitrogen, goes down here. And so we're given these values, and we're just going to plug them in. So K equals ammonia is 1.5. We'll square that. And hydrogen is 0.81. We have to cube that number. And also in the denominator is 0.33. So the best way to enter this in the calculator with the fewest keystrokes would be 1.5. Hit the x squared button. Divided by 0.81. Raise it to the third power. And divide by 0.33. Both of those numbers are in the denominator. So if you want to divide by this product, you have to put parentheses here. So you could test yourself and make sure that you do indeed get the same answer. But getting these in the calculator correctly is half the battle. So 1.5 squared divided by 0.81 raised to the third divided by 0.33. You don't need extra parentheses, and the calculator knows to do the order of operations correctly. So we'll get 12.8. You might just round that to two significant figures and say K is equal to, I didn't write that down, we'll call that K equals 13. Okay. So what we can do now that we know that K is 13 we can rearrange the equation and solve for um, an unknown pressure or concentration. So that just takes a little bit of algebra. So if we're going to solve for this, for example, we'll solve for NH3. And that means that we're given the K value and the other um, pressures. And so I'm going to just use this problem and let's solve this equation. Solve for the pressure of NH3. If K equals, I'm going to write 12.8 so that we don't have a rounding error when we do that. 12.8, and we'll say that hydrogen is still 0.81 atmospheres, and nitrogen is still 0.33 atmospheres. So this would be the second scenario that we might see, solving for an unknown. It's still best to write the equilibrium expression and then rearrange the equation for the unknown that we're looking for. 
And I generally rearrange the equation before I ever get started. You can plug values in, but we know everything except for NH3. So to get rid of this denominator, I'm going to put it over here. So the pressure squared of NH3 is equal to the K value times the pressure cubed of hydrogen times the pressure of nitrogen. And if I want the pressure of NH3, I've got to take the square root of both sides. So my pressure of NH3 is the square root of 12.8 times 0.81 cubed times 0.33. So we have to undo a square by taking the square root. And I've actually got this entire number in my calculator. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and if I, if I use that, then I would get the exact value we started with. So let's just say we were given the 12.8. And we multiply that by 0.81 and raise that to the third power. And multiply that by 0.33. And what's under the square root sign is 2.244. So I'm going to take hit the second square root and then hit the second answer key. So I don't need to plug all that back in. And when I do that, I get the pressure of NH3 equals 1.498 and so on. This rounds to 1.5. That would be atmospheres. And that is the value that we were given up here initially. So just like any algebraic problem, we can rearrange the equation and solve for any unknown. If what we're looking for is in the denominator, we just have to be careful with the algebra. So we could solve this now for, NA, for, for hydrogen. So let's use the same problem and find the pressure of hydrogen. And that means we know that K is 12.8. NH3 is 1.5 atmospheres, and N2 is still 0.33 atmospheres. So from the expression here, I'm just going to bring this down here instead of rewriting it again. I need my unknown in the numerator. So if I put this over here, so the pressure cubed of H2, and then I'm going to put the K down here. So it's the same thing as multiplying both sides of the equation by this unknown that we're looking for and dividing both sides of the equation by k. I'm just going to do that in one step. H3. Now my k is in the denominator and my pressure of nitrogen stays there. Now I have to either do the cube root of this. So my pressure of hydrogen is going to be the cube root everything that's in here. What I find easier to do is just raise everything to the one-third power. Because otherwise we have to go to the math function key and pick the cube root. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug all these values in that were given. And then I'm going to raise all of that, raise that to the one divided by three. Raise that to the one-third power. That has to be in parentheses because this is a repeating decimal, 0.3333. And so now I'm just going to plug in these values. So for NH3, we had 1.5 squared divided by K, which was 12.8 divided by the nitrogen, which was 0.33. So if I plug that in, just as it's written, and then we cool that. So 1.5, we're going to square that, divide, oops, we multiply it, divide by 12.8 and divide by 0.33. I'm going to enter that number. So the cube root of this number is the same as raising that to the 1 divided by 3, and I've got to put that in parentheses. When I do that, I get 0.81. So this equals 0.81 atmospheres. And we can double check. That's the answer that we started with when we were looking for the equilibrium constant. 
So to get good practice, if we just take one problem and solve for k, then we can solve for every other unknown in there by substitution.